This is it. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! yeah. Have fun riding bikes, and then we'll go eat dinner. How's that sound? Yeah! yeah. Three, two, two one! Make it go! We just finished up a show, third layer skate park, Minnesota State Fair. The uh, the crowd has left, and uh, we've got kind of a break in between shows, and it's been great because uh, I've been able to stay at uh, the third layer ramp camp here with uh, great hospitality and affordable rates from uh, Swamp Trog here. And uh, I want to hopefully give you a little tour. I think he's he might be in there. Hey, Reed, how you doing, bud? Good. What what do you got there? Strawberry mango smoothie. How is it? Bring it in. Hey, good ride today, bud. Just trying to see if Trog's home here. Trog! Hello? Yep, just a minute. Calm down. Oh, Calm down. He, he must be on the toilet or something. Let's go. Oh, what's up, Dustin? <laughs> How you doing, man? You want to get a tour? <laughs> yeah, let's see you the place. Let's see the place. This is where I've been staying lately, so we want to we want to uh, check a place out. Is this the garage entrance? Yeah, this is the garage, uh, you know, Constantly like working on some little skateboard art stuff. We got a watermelon that we just got delivered from a, a fan. The watermelon guy. Yeah, we got our, you know, a little wood pile. Uh, fixing a couple broken fans that, you know, are just malfunctioning. They a little rewiring. A lot of broken fans out there. Yeah, of course the- Heartbroken fans. Heartbroken fans, yeah. The, you know, the team is more than welcome to keep their bikes in the garage here. So, uh, do some paint organization. I love it because you're a rider. Yeah. You are a rider, but you're also a skater. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, skateboarding and BMX is like a huge part of my life. Yeah, it's just some of the best times that I've ever had uh, was with my friends biking and skating. Lifetime. Riding. Yeah, lifetime. It, it matters not what we ride, but in that we all ride. In that we all ride. That's That really moves me, dude. I love that. Heck yeah. Tool belt right there. That that tool belt right there is seen six state fair builds right there. No way, dude. Uh, How many years have you been on here now? Twelfth year out oh, here, no. you know, and I just started by cleaning up dirt piles and painting and gripping boards my first year to lead in the, the ramp building crew. Dude, so, that's a good point. Do you wanna you, you gotta start somewhere and it might be cleaning toilets, you never know, but yeah. you gotta start somewhere. Dude, right? I'll still clean the toilet at the third layer. No Heck worries. yeah, man. I gotta, to get done. I gotta clean up the factory. Dude, I mean, cleanliness. Shit happens, right? <laughs> it does, it does. All right, all right. You want, you guys want, you guys want to see. Oh, what do you got? A secret entrance? What yeah, do you, you guys want to see, like, where I've been camping out since uh, July 25th? All right, let's do it. Let's Over do it. a month. So, now. VIP, VIP status. So, uh, first thing we did was build this quarter pipe on the very first day so we could get camp going. This is ramp camp. So, this is the big, what is this, a nine foot quarter? Nine foot quarter pipe. So you have nine eight, foot ceilings and eight and a half right tranny, six inches of vert, pretty basic. Oh my still. lord! So come on in. Uh, got a couple broken drills I've been trying to fix. Uh, a little bottle collection. I got my saw right here. If go for any kind of um, custom things that we need built on. on so you build uh, anything on the move. The riders say, dude, we should build this. Yep. You, you make it happen. You make it happen, dude. A uh, couple tents set up here, as you can see, uh, for guests. That's the guest bed. That's where I slept last night. Yep. That was, how was it? Got the sleeping bag in there and everything. Oh, it's great. There's yeah. even a little net there I can hang my phone in the middle of the night. Yeah, dude. Really pretty luxurious for, uh, so I'm just going to tuck this one away so we can get in. That's where I sleep. You got multiple eats. hammocks here. Yep. Is this your dresser? This is my dresser right here. My favorite sunglasses. Um, these are from Creature, dude. Don't die. <laughs> great words. Yep. Great words. Guys over at Creature die. got those over to me. Got my Rhyme Sayers coat. Rhyme nice. through. Uh, nice. Tell us about this say. towel. Yeah, that towel. This is the, the, the same towel that I use when I'm done bathing in the bathtub right here. No way. And it's it's ready to go. You got a bathtub? I filled it up last night, so it's getting kind of warm. There's some sawdust in there that keeps falling. You heat it up with the light. Yeah, you just heat it up with... Uh, 
You got any jets in there? There's no jets in there yet. We could drop the uh, the uh, hose in there but and I've hold been the end of it. I'm looking at YouTube, dude, and and like you can make these into some serious like white trash hot tubs. <laughs> I'm really want. I'm looking forward to doing that someday down the road. You know? So I know all of our 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 millions of viewers that are watching right now are wondering how can I make my own bathtub? Right. Where do you even find a bathtub like that? Um, you get something like this at Fleet Farm. It's really? A horse trough. <laughs> horse trough. <laughs> It's, a, it's for livestock. Um, we got the hose system oh running out. And really you just pull the drain and it empties and then you plug it in and it fills up from the bottom up. It's kind of pretty awesome. Dude, don't really awesome. have to move things around too much. <laughs> uh, here's the Coleman Highline 4 oh, this series. Is the this is where the magic happens. Yeah, this is the, the master bedroom. Made this nice little uh, vaulted step here. Oh, you're even, yeah, you're above ground yeah, there yeah, and everything. Ground. Side. Oh no, um, we don't, you're gonna let us inside? Yep, yep, you can just check. I keep it pretty clean in there. You oh know, my gosh. Case, you know, there's oh my. a cot. Dude. Probably get some dirty socks in there. But even raised above the uh, got floor nice there. Got cot right there. That's incredible. Got a fan. Nice sweatpants. Thank you, they're independent. That is great. Um, sometimes we, we do some cooking. I, I we got the breakfast. kitchen. Yep, we got breakfast every morning. Um, out here on the, the site, it's all about the protein. So nuts, fruit and more, steak strips from Costco. Um, you got your milk in there and carrots, dude, because I wear glasses. So I've been, I've been eating a lot of carrots. So try sure. to got it. Nice, strong, you nice. know. Nice. Couple brewskis for the end of the night, you know, with some buddies, whatever. There you go. Well, um, look at that tranny. Yeah. Holy crap. So these are pretty nice. Um, yeah, they've, they've come through, they, they come down pretty easy and uh, they got this nice little open style tranny uh, vertical template. So you're, you're really saving a lot of wood. I actually built these all out of scrap wood. That stuff I found in dumpsters or that was donated or from tearing down old skate parks. Because sometimes when you tear down an old skate park, they want it gone because it's rotten. How do you use that wood? Well, you just sort of cut things down and then you brace it as if this was the vertical template, oh. which would normally go in this spot. So it's I more see. open space, lighter setup. And uh, it's really strong and it's held up for uh, Kind of like when I broke my years. leg last year, they put that rod in there. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> you know? Oh man. It's all about the gusset though, check it out. Right there, that piece right there, that little triangle. It's about 16 by 16 triangle. The gusset right there holds everything together. I swear, that's the backbone of this whole ramp. So someone sneaks that out of there mid-show, could have a whole oh, yeah. earthquake. It, it would, the, the, the ramps would just bow in, but they're pretty they're pretty well built, guys. So I'm not gonna lie about that. Probably so this good. is uh, attendance here is is uh, we have uh, one of the biggest state fair. We supposedly do have the biggest state fair by attendance in the entire country. Uh, what is it like sleeping here? Because last night they said the fair closes at 12 and I was like, all right, great. I'll get a good night's rest. You know, if, if sun comes up early, 6 a.m., you know, I should get enough hours. From midnight till probably 2 a.m., all I heard was dump trucks doing garbage, street sweepers, all that stuff. 11.15, the leaf blower guys come in. There's a <laughs> squad of them. They're like blowing the tarp, you know? <laughs> Yes, that is the noise. It's insane. But like after a long day on your feet and riding and 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 running around the fair, it's. I mean, there's a lot of noise, but you sort of can zone it out. You're in your bed. You're, you're like, laying down. I'm done. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The you're you're exactly right. The garbage crew comes in every single night. The leaf or like the the ground patrol cleaning, and then, you know, you just get the rowdy fairgoers arguing with their girlfriends late at night too did you hear that last night i heard like, i heard there was like an argument right outside here i thought the best place to do it was right right where we were well sleeping. then we thought we heard somebody run on the ramps yeah we some did, weird thing we did think that but i went out there and there was no sign of anybody could have been a ghost i don't know what it was possibly and you know i didn't even tell you last night but i had these big massive headphones that i put on and yep. i've got an app called white noise what? i open that up and you can choose between like chimes or like an airplane sound or like a fan and so i put on the fan and all of a sudden it blocked out all the noise and i slept that's pretty much brilliant all night, man so. i need to get me some of those because yeah sometimes it's, it, it can be kind of frustrating after a long day but most of the time you're just so darn tired they just like close your eyes and you're you're gone yeah see ya 
And the, the interesting part about this fair, it is so big and so busy that parking is a nightmare. And I've been coming at like 10, 10.30 in the morning and you and parking's full. You can't park anywhere. No. So I can see the convenience of staying here and driving back, traffic, all that. I can't even tell you how nice it was just to crash in your guest hammock there. Dude, I say it all the time. I got the best job in the world, you know, whether it's building ramps or emceeing shows or uh, working at the skateboard park. Uh, I really love what I do and uh, meeting people like you Dustin man it's always makes it way more better you know to have that community that we got going so for sure man dude the the love action it. sports world I, I've said it as well there's there's nothing better than action sports dude, it's like a giant family no matter where Seriously. you go in the whole world you can always relate to somebody and connect in some way you know so oh exactly uh, who would who would have known? I we've been doing shows together out here for over a dozen years, and uh, I never would have thought the day I met Trog that uh, wasn't we, even we, Trog then, dude. It wasn't even Trog. <laughs> when did Trog come along? Uh, Two thousand seven. Oh seven. Yeah. So what was your nickname before that? Trouble. Trouble. <laughs> it always starts with a T for some reason. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, that is great. But yeah, I never imagined that. Uh, years later that I would not only still be riding and um, you know having honestly traveled with my bike across the entire world so and you've sick. been going all over the place all over contests dude. and everything yeah man so many events incredible and uh, and now here we are crashing under a ramp enjoying dancing on the dance floor to Prince night last night dude Jurassic Park at the arcade <laughs> play Jurassic night. Park dude T-Rex was chasing us last night yeah oh that was that was too much fun <laughs> Oh man, so it, it has been uh Well it's so it's, crazy you can go from like camping underneath a ramp. Exactly. To staying in a five star hotel. Exactly. You know, and, and either one is a great 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 story, that's and, for sure. And it it doesn't matter, you have fun no matter what, you know? Yep. You make your own fun out there, kids, you know? Yep, no, that is true, that is true. You gotta make it happen. And yep. for anyone uh, complaining out there, I don't have anything to ride, blah, blah, blah. I was just talking to someone, I used to go out to my uh, grandparents in the middle of South Dakota every summer. All right. What do they have to ride in South Dakota? They had nothing, there's no skate parks around, there's no. nothing out there, what do we do? We grab some shovels, we build some little jumps. Definitely even, start the shovel. Even rode the ditches, you know the ditches on the side yeah. of the road? Oh, I yeah. rode like a half pipe, you yeah. know? Yeah, I mean, just get creative out there, kids, for sure. Yep. Always, always, you can always flat grab ground. a hammer and there's nails. Flat and ground. Yeah, there's always flat ground too. Yeah, That's true. Flat right, landing or right here flat ground skateboarding. from Minnesota, Trevor Meyer, three times X Games gold medalist, flatland rider, learned every trick in his driveway. And he's got three X Games gold medals right here from Minnesota. Oh. Minnesota is like, a hotbed of action sports right now. Dude, he's like the Rodney Mullen of uh, he is. He is, man. Seriously. So sick. Seriously. Yeah, but, Minneapolis is blowing up, man. It's, I think it's because it is such a smaller, tight community, you know, and uh, that really oh, yeah. makes for no egos or anything. Everyone's pretty humble. Yeah, oh, that's great. We got we got X Games coming here in the next two years. Oh, yeah, U.S. Bank games. Stadium. Dude, There's, if I can help out on that build, that'll be that'd be insane. I'd be happy. I'd be insane. I'd be happy. X Games. <laughs> I'd even get I'd even get out on that build. Yeah. Dude. Start ramming it down. Ramming it down, baby. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh man. That's what's up, man? Well, thanks for watching. Glad you could join us. Shout out to Third Layer, everyone at the Minnesota State Fair, all the volunteers, everyone making this happen. Because how long has the fair been around now? Like 100 years. 100, 100 years? It's insane. And to have an action sports show here for 16 years now is incredible. It brings a tear in my eye almost. But it did. I'm going to save my tears for the tub later, all right? Yeah, <laughs> tears for the tub. That backflip, though. Got me, dude. Yeah, it, that was we'll, magical. We, we have another edit um, with Reed. Oh, Reed, you watch that, man. Reed, a quick little recap here. Reed came out, I'd say, three years ago. He was seven years old. He saw one of our shows here at the State Fair, and he decided he wanted to ride. He wanted to get into BMX. So he came out and he started riding with us, riding at the park. And uh, he, his dream was to ride in the Minnesota State Fair in the shows like, out here. Who wants, you know, who's, you know, I want to be calling your name. That kid was like, oh yeah, that hit him hard, you know? So from that day, three years ago, that's wow. been his dream. And he has worked so hard riding his bike, learning tricks, having fun, meeting riders. And today is the day it happened. Dude. Reed got to ride in his first ever show at the Minnesota State Fair. And not only that, 
he he's one of the youngest riders who who does backflips, and he ended our show. And it was funny because first I, try. I talked to Reed beforehand, and I made sure I'm like, "How you feeling? Like, you feeling this?" And uh, he's like, "Yep, yep." And so I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna flip. Glenn's gonna flip after me. We're gonna get on the other side of the ramp, and we're gonna point you out. We're gonna call you out." And and then. So we did, and all of a sudden we looked across, we pointed at Reed, and he was just in the zone, getting ready to roll in. Trog had no idea what was going on. He's no, like, I, what? I looked at him and I said, are you gonna flip? And I was, <laughs> I was like, this is not happening. And, and he's like, he, he didn't even have to say anything. He, he was that. in the zone, and I was like, wait a minute. And I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting literally, like, Oh yeah, and it, it almost spine. felt like it, it almost felt like slow motion yeah. just because of everything that was happening. But it all happened within seconds. He just cranks it. I think he pedaled down the pedaled roll in. Down the roll. Pedaled down the roll in. Hits nervous. the box, leans back, and flips that box. Rolls around, and all of us, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And then all of a sudden, he's rolling down the landing and coming up to the corner with Glenn and I. And I'm like, oh my lord. I put, we put him on our shoulders. Yeah. No one had any idea it was going to happen. He was moved himself. Oh, yeah. He, he started so tearing up. I gave him a hug. I started tearing up. Like, it was, yeah, just, I was. It was incredible. He no came shame. down. It, he hugged mom and, and the families out here. And it was the just. The crowd was going nuts. Oh, my gosh. It was one of those out of. He'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. No, seriously. 12, 13, 14 years at the fair now. No way. There's nothing. There's very few moments that compare to something like that. And uh, seriously, dream come true for Reed. But perfect yeah. example of someone who's been out watching the show and said, gosh, that looks like fun. I wish I could do that. He made it happen. He made it happen. It's Make been... the choice, guys. Seriously. What do you want to do with your life? Hop on, on the bike. bike. Hop on the sco uh, skateboard. Whatever it is. Yeah. Just have fun doing it. Yeah. That's, all, that's all we're doing. So... Well, thanks again, Trog. Great tour out here today. Ram and it down. Great work on the uh, third layer build 2016. Right looking in, baby. That's right. Looking forward to many more Love years out stuff. here together. Uh, check out Third Layer, Instagram at Third Layer. Check out Ride MN, Instagram yeah. at Ride MN. And uh, follow us on YouTube. So thanks again, guys. Uh, great, great work, Dustin. Ram it down. Appreciate it. I hey, appreciate everything bring you're bring doing. It, bring it in. Boom, baby. There we go. There we go. Love you, dude. You too, man. See you soon, bud. Thanks for the tour. YouTube, Dallas just slammed, and he has a whole line of fans over here. Where is Dallas? Is he even in there?